To get another idea of what the New World Order is, we have only to look at the CIA. They actually publish reports that talk about the New World Order and the demise of a democracy. Um, matter of fact, in Intelligence Challenges Through 2015, which is a publication published by the Central Intelligence Agency, I've got a copy, you can buy it on Amazon, they state, globalization will provide mankind with the unprecedented opportunity to improve the quality of human life across the planet. But, progress will be hamper, hampered by economic volatility, by the political and security implications of sharing inequalities of income, and by the growing threat of multiple relatively small-scale programs of mass destruction. In Global Trends 2015, the CIA further goes on to say, the relative power and influence of many nation-states will continue to erode over the next 15 years, while transnational networks of all kinds will almost certainly grow in number, economic power, and political significance. The CIA continues by saying globalization and the permeability of borders to the flow of people, goods, and information are all combining to erode state sovereignty. The state's power is shifting in three directions, outward to non-state actors, downward to subnational and local levels of government, and upward, to a certain degree, to regional and international institutions and legal regimes. So, it's documented that there is an erosion of national sovereignty. It's actually something that's talked about quite a bit, but you don't tend to hear it on the news. So my effort to discuss this with you is to wake you up, to understand that there's a very large body of thought that believes that there should be a form of government that is above and beyond the powers of our own United States of America. I think we need to talk about that.